As described in the film, our translation of the word transcendence uh, is the uploading of a human brain to a supercomputer. Now, so what is the basic story of this film? The premise of the film is uh, basically the singularity, which is uh, the point at which uh, a, a supercomputer is able to become more powerful um, than the collective intelligence of all the people ever born on the earth. This is an incredible level of power uh, for a ma machine to get to this point. Who are Will and Evelyn Castor? Will and Evelyn Castor are a married couple who are professors at the University of California, Berkeley, um, in the field of computer sciences. Um, and they are the, the, the two main characters in the film that we follow. Will has invented this computer that he's named PIN. Mm. What can this computer do that no other computer can do? PIN is a supercomputer that's more powerful than any computer that's ever been built before. And it's based on real computing power um, that's been put together on computers that have mapped the human brain. Um, <clears throat> it's able to compute faster and with more power than any other computer ever made. Um, you've got a great cast of characters here, mm. or of actors here. How did that all come about? How were you able to get all of these actors in this film? I, I, I'm lucky enough as a first-time director to be able to, to get such an incredible group of performers in my first film, um, beginning with Johnny Depp, Morgan Freeman, uh, Rebecca Hall, Paul Bettany, Kate Mara, Killian Murphy. Uh, uh, did I leave anybody out? Um, this is an incredible cast for a first-time director. I had previously worked with Morgan Freeman on, on three films and, and was very pleased that when I reached out to, to get him in the film, he was able to do it. And, uh, um, and the same with uh, Rebecca Hall. I'd done one film with Rebecca Hall, three movies with Killian Murphy. So it was sort of, I, was, I was sort of asking family members if they'd, uh, <laughs> if they'd participate in my first, uh, in my first endeavor, um, and I was so thrilled that they would. Um, I had met Johnny a couple of years earlier, and, uh, and we got along great, and then uh, um, was really thrilled that he responded to the material. Um, and the same with, with Paul Bettany. Uh, and Paul Bettany was a bit of a surprise to me. He brought so much to that role um, and expanded that character beyond what we had ever written. So we're really fortunate that, that the film was able to, to, to expand based on, on the, the breadth of the talent that we had in it. Now this being your first time directing mm. debut, were there any particular challenges that you ran across or any particular favorite moments that you had? Mm. I, Probably my favorite moment on, during the filming um, was one of the last scenes we ever did on the rooftop. Um, and we were uh, all set to shoot uh, one of the final scenes uh, with uh, Paul Bettany and Morgan Freeman and Killian Murphy um, on the roof. And a, an enormous thunderstorm came rolling in uh, to New Mexico, uh, to the desert and shut us down, <clears throat> nearly wiped out the set, filled the, the, the roof top piece with water um, and shut us down to the point where we were gonna shut down for the day and possibly be a day behind. The producers had already conceded to the fact that we were not gonna finish the day. And after the storm passed, the clouds started rolling through and there was a beautiful uh, sun peeking through the clouds. And uh, I just wanted to rally and, and get it done. So we, you know, threw the camera on my shoulder, um, got everybody up there with brooms and mops, pushing all the, the water away from the roof, got it resurrected, and we shot the ending of the movie in about an hour and a half's time <laughs> before the sun went down. So for me, it was that spirit of excitement that took me back to my days as a documentary cameraman and, and, um, and sort of the, the rallying to, uh, to push adversity aside and, and put something magical on film in a very short period of time. Mm, that's great. Um, obviously, this subject matter is going to get a lot of people talking. What do you hope mm. that people will take away from this film mm. after seeing it? I think that what the film dances around is the ambiguity uh, as to whether this machine is benevolent or malevolent. 
Um, and I think that, that hopefully it, it has people asking questions about their relationship with technology and, and whether they should be depending on technology and to what degree. Um, and whether te technology and computers and social media are uh, taking more from them than it's offering them. And it, so it's, a, it's an overall thinking about we are where we're headed with technology. But I also think that, that, that it's important for them to be thinking about the relationships you know, that they have with humans as well as with technology. And that's what I think resonates in the end of the film. Fantastic. That's great. great.